OK, let's work through our second projectile motion example. Here we've got two walls. One is 7.1 metres tall, the other is 4.4 metres tall, 16 metres apart. And we've got a particle or a ball that's fired 16 metres to the left of the taller wall. And the question asks us to determine the initial speed and angle of projection required to just clear both walls. OK, the first thing to note that this question doesn't make any mention of time, which actually simplifies this problem a lot, because the only equation we're going to need is the equation for the trajectory, y of x equals x by the tangent of theta, the tan of the launch angle, minus x squared by g divided by 2 times the initial velocity squared times 1 plus the tan squared of the launch angle. So we need this projectile to pass through or go above and beyond two defined points. So we have one here with the coordinates 16, 7.1, x equals 16, and y equals 7.1. And we have another here where the coordinates are 32, x equals 32, and y equals 4.4. Let's work with the furthest wall first. So in step one, if we substitute the coordinates into the trajectory equation, we've got y equals 4.4, which equals 32 by the tan of the launch angle, minus 32 squared by g divided by 2 times the initial velocity squared by 1 plus the tan squared of the launch angle. I'm going to tidy this equation up a little bit by substituting tan theta by the letter m. So let's make m equals tan theta. So we have 32m, and in the second part, we have 32 squared by g on 2v0 squared by 1 plus m squared. This 32, I'm going to rewrite that as 2 times 16. So we have 2 times 16m, and we have 2 times 16 all squared. And the reason why I'm doing that will become apparent. But for now, let's take this power into the parentheses here. So we have 4.4 equals 2 by 16m minus 2 squared is equal to 4. And I'll leave the... Uh, Second term is 16 squared by g all over 2 v0 squared by 1 plus m squared. 4 and 2 reduces to 2 at the top. And let's just leave that there for now. So this here was point 1. Let's make this point 2. So for point 2, we have y equals 7.1, and that equals x is 16, 16 times m, which is tan theta, minus x squared, 16 squared, by g on 2 v0 squared by 1 plus m squared. Next up, I'm going to multiply this entire expression by 2. So that implies if we have 7.1 times 2, we get 14.2 equals I'm going to write uh, 16m by 2 as 2 times 16m. And I'm going to do the same for the second term. We will have 2 by 16 squared g divided by 2 v0 squared by 1 plus m squared. So now the two on the top and bottom on the second term cancel each other. And I am now going to label this equation as equation b. And I'm going to label this equation as equation A. So we have two equations and we have two unknowns. The unknowns being m and the initial velocity v0. m is an unknown because we have to solve for theta. So if we don't know theta, we don't know m. We have two equations, we have two unknowns, therefore we can solve by simultaneous equations. So what we'll do now to eliminate one of the variables is to subtract equation A from equation B. So we have 14.2 equals 
2 by 16 m minus 16 squared by g over v0 squared by 1 plus m squared and we're going to subtract from this 4.4 .4 equals 2 by 16 m minus 2 by 16 squared by g over v0 squared by 1 plus m squared 14.2 minus 4.4 .4 is equal to 9.8 equals these two subtract to each other to equal 0 minus we have a negative 16 squared here and we have a double negative 2 by 16 squared which equals positive 16 squared g divided by v0 squared by 1 plus m squared so rearranging this one we have if we make v0 squared the subject we have 16 squared by g by 1 plus m squared all over 9.8 so we now have an expression for the velocity for the initial velocity as a function of m or the function of theta and what we're going to do is substitute this into one of the above equations let's substitute that into a and this gives us 4.4 .4 equals 2 by 16 by m minus 2 by 16 squared by g by 1 plus m squared divided by v squared which is equal to 16 squared by g times 1 plus m squared all over 9.8 so from this we can eliminate g we can eliminate the 16 squared we can eliminate the 1 plus m squared which means this whole thing equals 2 on 1 over 9.8 so we end up with 4.4 .4 equals 2 by 16 times m minus 2 times 9.8. If we solve for m now, 2 times 9.8 equals 19.6. So therefore m equals 4.4 .4 plus 19.6 divided by 2 times 16 and that equals 24 divided by 2 times 16 which equals 12 on 16 which equals 3 quarters and therefore 10 of the launch angle equals 3 quarters which means the angle theta is equal to 36.87 degrees let's call this expression for the initial velocity squared as equation C so now that we've got m, let's sub that into equation C. So we have v0 squared equals 16 squared by g divided by 9.8 by 1 plus 3 quarters squared. And if we use g equals 9.81 meters per second squared, we have v0 squared equals 256 which is 16 squared by 9.81 divided by 9.8 which almost cancels each other out by 1 plus 3 quarters squared and if we put that into a calculator we should get about 400.41 now remember this is v0 squared so therefore the initial velocity equals the square root of 400.41 note that uh, there are two possible answers but I'm only going to take the positive answer so calculating this we get about 20 meters per second so let's just box our answers
Now a careful thing to note that is if we use these values, our projectile is actually going to coincide with those points on the wall, which means either the launch angle has to be slightly greater than 36.87 degrees, or the initial velocity has to be slightly greater than 20 meters a second, or both. So make sure you emphasize that when you see these types of problems. Okay, so that'll do it for this video. If it's helped you, please give it a like and please share it with your study mates. Subscribe and follow my channel for plenty of other tutorials to help you with your math studies. If you'd like to help me, I'd really appreciate a small donation. There's a PayPal link in the description below. Feel free to ask me any questions using the comments below. For now, best of luck with your studies, and I'll see you on the next video.